Well, now I will show you how to create your own stamp. And you will see it's pretty easy. Uh, I try to, uh, to make the process uh, the simplest as possible. So for that, really simple, you go to the creation tab and here you have two options. Uh, create stamps from uh, geometry or from file. We will start with the file one. Uh, really uh, simple, one more time. Uh, you have a little info here. Stamp file should be a TIFF format. Okay, so just one, two rules to respect uh, in order that it works correctly. Uh, it's pretty powerful uh, from file because um, that means you can, in fact, uh, load and use in stamp it any alpha files already existing on the internet marketplace or for that brush substance painter you know uh, there are already a ton of great alpha file so it's why it's important to um, to have the ability to load it into stamp it so here i have a custom alpha uh, file i've downloaded on internet we will open it in photoshop you need to prepare a bit uh, and verify your file before to import into stamp it first as uh, we said before uh, you should have a, a stamp okay the stamp file in tiff format here i'm on a psd it's not a problem and uh, i advise you to have at least um, 16 bits or uh, 32 bits uh, would be even better but yes it's uh, it's, it's better the more you have the, the best it in, in terms of information and you know uh, negative uh, leveling okay uh, and one really important thing is that you need to uh, give an um, uh, area space uh, around the stamps why otherwise uh, you can test um, you will uh, have repetition and you can't you will not be able to uh, to, to scale down uh, your stop your stamp so just select your stamp um, try th the most space here uh, free space you, you you keep the more you you will have an uh, ability to scale down or up uh, the stamp after at the creation so it's you to to judge uh, me i i do something like that okay you just create of course quickly the backspace and here you're great okay we are good um, and just save this guy as a custom alpha give it a name the name here will be also the name uh, it will uh, it will have um, as a stamp in stamp it as a TIFF and a register, no specific, everything by default. Okay. And now you, I advise you to create uh, an icon because you see this one is uh, too tiny and it will not be uh, really great as an icon. So also for an icon to switch in something later will be great. Uh, I will even I will even remove the black part here yes. and uh, try also uh, to don't put a too big uh, image size uh, because in terms of performance uh, stamp it will load faster if image are not too big and boom 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 we will save it as PNG file with transparency, of course. Now we are ready and I can load my file. So load my stamp here, you click load and you go to your TIFF file. Okay, it shared, it's load. And now the icon in PNG, you choose here where you want to store it. So it will be a circle and you create the plug. So nothing up here, but it's uh, automatically created. You can go now to user, circle, and it's here with the name I gave. So yes, 
uh, as you notice, I separate uh, the default Stampit uh, library from your own. So here you have empty uh, tab space to organize your own stamp. Okay, this way uh, it's better because of organization and of course also for when I will update stamp it this way uh, you will not lose each time uh, your custom stamp. Now let's verify this guy works correctly. I will select a nice area here. Okay, double click and boom, it's great. Seems to look fine. Uh, yes, and you know, you remember about now I can scale down, scale up, and if you don't uh, put the, the the free space we did in Photoshop, you you will not be able to scale down because you 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 look at the, the repetition. So yes, and here everything is working correctly. Let's test. With the render quickly, come here. I will set a bit. Yes, you can go to negative value, add more Arnold subdivision. Yes, everything is here. And voila, works fine also in Arnold. Last thing uh, here. What is the user? I already um, talked to you about in the installation video. Uh, in Stampit script, let's come back here. You have the Stampit library with the stamp folder. Here are the default Stampit folder, and you have the user one. You go here, and those folders are for you, okay? Empty by default. And if I go to circle, here is my stamp. So if you want to delete one, for example, uh, because you want to restart, you just come here. If he won't, it's cause of Arnold. Okay. So you know you need to go to Arnold, flash cache, and texture. Now you can clean the folder correctly. And of course, if I load again, it's clean. Okay.